Okay, are you flicking me off? Flicking me off. All right. Okay, so, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys look over there, um, I wrote you kind of some steps. No, right here. So the steps. What we're basically going to be doing here is I'm going to give you guys a bunch of expressions, trigonometric solutions. They're going to have sine, cosine, all this kind of stuff. And what we're going to do is use identities to replace our trigonometric functions, so our tr expressions, so we can simplify them. And the goal for this homework is to simplify either to a constant, a number, or a single trig function. Okay? Like sine, sine of x or sine of theta, right? Or cosine of x, cosine of theta. So our goal is to simplify it down to one single either number or trig function. All right? Now, the way that we're going to do that, first of all, the first thing is algebra might be involved. So therefore, you are going to be asked to be able to factor. You are going to be asked to be able to multiply by distributive property. You are going to be asked to combine fractions, right? Common denominators and so forth. All of that stuff is going to be asked of you. So we are going to be using our algebra skills. And once we simplify it by our applying operation, then we're going to use the identities. And as I mentioned, you will have these identities. It will make a little bit more sense once we have the identities. But basically what we're going to do is we use our identities to help us simplify um, the example. So in the first example here, when looking at this problem, a couple things I notice. I notice that I have an expression where I have two of my terms share the same quantity, right? And that same quantity is the sine function, correct? And whenever you guys are having trouble with this, whenever you're having trouble, I always like to think of it as forget about sine and cosine. Replace everything with x and y's, right? x, y's, and z's, whatever. Think about it that way. Guys, if I was giving you this, is there something we could simplify? We could factor out an x, right? Does that make sense? Does that make sense? So in algebra, that's what we did. In trig, we're doing the same operation. We're just doing it with functions, with trig functions. So I'm going to factor out a sine of theta. That's going to leave me with sine squared of theta plus cosine squared of theta, Okay, which introduces us to our first trigonometric identity, which is called your Pythagorean identity. And the Pythagorean identity says sine squared plus cosine squared is equal to 1. So again, you'll have this provided to you. I'm just writing it up there because I know you guys don't have it. So ladies and gentlemen, do you guys see inside this parenthesis is sine squared plus cosine squared? So guess what? That's sine of theta times 1, which is just sine of theta. Thank you. Go. OK, 